you know, staring down London, really. Going like, you know, I'm ready for this. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. It just, just wants to be a sort of, you know, yeah. mean and tense, just, just, you know, stealing yourself. Yeah. How was, that? How was that for you guys? That, that looked dangerous to me. All right. Engineers, eh? They think they run the place. Tell me about it. I mean, that's weapons grade tech. They don't know what they're playing with. Fire. Sorry? They're playing with the fire. Go! Well done. Well, from you, sir, that's that's fine praise indeed. You know, I I read all your books and don't I've... encourage him. His head's quite big enough. Hello, Dad. <laughs> And action! What else did she say? Oh, she, she said that you... You murdered her mother. Murder, that's an ugly word. Help me back, get back on London. Help me find a trading town, and then you'll never see me again. Please. Come with me, yeah. you know, and she's and she's gonna she's gonna resist. Yeah. Okay, and then she'll rip free of you, but like not without him. And it's like, okay, bang. <laughs> Fifty quirks for this soggy dollop is an extraordinarily generous offer, madam.
sort of saving them for like a little bit of a surprise moment, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Later on, you know, just sort of going and then, yeah. Chasing Yasmina and and then getting this to sh the reaction to a shadow on the wall that none of you notice. That's it. We'll do that and then we'll jump. Then we'll jump back into. Um. I read the books, um, probably, I don't know, 2004 or five, maybe. And I, and I just read the books because I heard that they were great. Um, you know, I, I didn't read them from a point of view of making a movie, but then when I had finished all four books, um, I thought, wow, what this would be an, be an extraordinary film. What I liked about Philip's view of the future is that um, even though there has been an event which is um, finish the, the, the society that we know today. You know, human beings are human beings, and they've built themselves up again after after several thousand years to create a world that is still um, attractive to some degree. That there are, you know, there's a lot of aspects of the mortal engines world that I would be fine fine living living in. You know, I mean, the, you know, the big moving cities. Um, are comfortable and they've got you know restaurants and theatres and pubs and everything else. I mean they're not you know it's not that bleak and depressing. It's just simply the society's gone a different direction to what we know now. These massive cities is kind of something I've never seen before. I mean that's what's appealing about it is that how often do we go to the movies today and see things that we that we genuinely have never seen before in any form whatsoever? And I've never seen a city. You know, the height of the Empire State Building and the length of about 10 football fields kind of rumbling along the ground and chasing um, other smaller cities. I've never seen that. So, so just that fact alone makes it, to me, um, visually appealing from a movie point of view. You know, the, the film, I think, it takes you on a journey where you start to empathise with the assassin. And you start to understand, well, okay, right or wrong, whether it's good to assassinate somebody, you see where she's coming from and why she wants to do it, and she's very single-minded. And the film shows her on a journey of, of understanding that there is hope, that there is love, that there is a reason to live, that there is a reason to actually um, to, to engage with other people. She, she's, you know, she's a very much a loner, and she, Tom, her relationship with Tom is really the first... You know, meaningful relationship she's had with a living person since her mother died. Hera is also an incredibly powerful actor. She does the thing that um, that I absolutely love with with uh, with any actor. Really, is that she's absolutely living and and, and breathing the moments that she's playing. So, any time she plays a moment, she is in in that moment, believing it's real. She's not pretending. She's not faking it. She's not. A, She's not. She's not acting as such. She's. She's actually absorbed herself into, into that role, and uh, and that you know she she is. That's that's not something that all actors can necessarily do, and and she does it superbly well. I think the most interesting villains um, are ones in which they utterly believe in the the logic of what they're doing. They, they don't, you know, they don't wake up in the morning thinking, well, how, how, how evil can I be today? You know, they wake up in the morning actually believing that they're doing the right thing. And I think Valentine, at any given moment in the film, for the most part, he believes he's doing what is right for, for him and for actually for the society um, that, that, he li that, that, that he lives in. He's not, he's not, um, He's not, he's not like a sort of a James Bond villain wanting to blow up the world or, or steal gold from Fort Knox and irradiate you know, everybody. He's, he's not got a villainous plan. He's simply trying to do what he thinks is best. He has a, um, a, a, a comfort and a security 
and a skill with visual effects, which means he's able to put all that to one side and 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 now focus on the characters and the action and the story, which which is as as a as a first feature film. That that's the challenge for him. So so I think it's um, much much easier the fact that he doesn't have to worry about the visual effects thing that comes in a much more natural way to him and he was able to devote um you know most of his most of most of his energy and effort into the storytelling and the characters which which he did superbly well hey guys did you know the top five most expensive movies ever made are star wars episode seven the force awakens at number five avengers age of ultron at number four pirates of the caribbean at the world's end at number three pirates of the caribbean on stranger tides at number two and coming in at number one is avatar now click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side if you want to watch another video